Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Battle Angel Gully. If you're continuing to watch this series, in the last episode, we broke out of Nova's uh, Uroboros computer simulation project, where he uh, renamed Gully to Alita, the name that everybody knows her by. And then, of course, now that we're broken out of the system, we're back to being Gully. So goodbye to the name Alita and being back to Gully. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but we just have Chaos uh, going off to do his own thing and Gully going to do her own thing, pretty much. Although, honestly, they should probably stick together. So Gully is thinking... Um, you know, she wants to go see Foggia, perhaps. She is reminiscing right now about, uh, you know, something Hugo said. Do you have a dream? You know, something that you're aiming for. And Gully's thinking that really she doesn't, you know, have any focus or, you know, main dream that she's aiming for. Okay, so yeah, we're back to Gully. Guess I need to re-equip this stuff again. So far, it's the only gripe about this game. Having to uh, re-equip everything and then uh, talking to Dekiman over and over again. Give me some money, man, for all that hard work. Uh oh I got uh, hunting results for Irai, which is that uh, girl, the S&M girl that we fought. Um, but I didn't get credit for defeating Nova, even though a Nova is on the wanted list. Plot twist. Something bad's going to happen, I just know it. If I'm not getting credit for Nova... Oh, oh my, Masaka! It cannot be! Holy crap. That was a trap. So the Deki man was laughing just like Nova. Oh my goodness, what in the world? He's saying laughing is difficult when his head is in his chest. So, uh... You know, as you know, Nova has been revealing to everybody that uh, there's no brain in all the people from uh, Zalem. They just have the computer chip. Well, basically, he apparently here he put a computer chip back up in his stomach of his brain, or the you know the computer chip that's supposed to be his brain. And uh, he rigged the Dekiman to explode on um, Gully there. And as I remember, uh, this is actually where the anime ends. Or not anime, sorry. Uh, this is where the manga was supposed to end. Um, Kishiro-san you know, was having some trouble or maybe some deadlines. And he, he decided he would just end the story here. And there was a scene with uh, Nova having a kind of doll, a trick a doll or something. And uh, Gully picked it up or something and it exploded, uh, killing her. And that was supposed to be the end, like everybody dies sort of thing. And that's the end. And then that was uh, re redacted. And the story continued later when he was actually able to continue the story. So the manga is supposed to sort of end there, but, um, you know, there is more. And I think it's called Last Order was the uh, extra manga chapters that were revealed. But yeah, Gully is still somehow alive here. And we're reminiscing about a red valley. 
Once again, these are her memories of Mars. And eventually we'll be getting to Mars, the Mars colony, and revealing more about Gully. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. The original manga was supposed to kind of end there with her death. But uh, we're still going, so let's keep on going with this story. Well, we have a completely different uh, body this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I'm getting sick of Nova. Although his laugh is easy to translate. You can always tell when he's talking. Oh my, Destinova! It's like uh, everybody's surprised to see him every time. They, they have to say his full name for some reason. Does that, that make it more dramatic or something? That gully here thinks she's having a dream or a nightmare, actually. Because apparently he's got a head back. I don't know where he keeps his spare heads. But yeah, Nova is more or less the immortal villain now. Can't be killed, even though you cut his head off. Got to cut his stomach out as well or something. My goodness. Oh, <gasps> so that's where we are. Welcome to Zalem, everybody. Or Salem, as it's spelled with an S, but the katakana is Zalem. Gully can't believe it. It's like, I, I killed you. We destroyed you at the Granite Inn. Of course. Blah, blah, blah. So we had a long conversation there. I cut it out. Uh, Nova explained how he survived and how Gully survived. He brought her back. Um, but I don't think he's going to mess with her as his plaything anymore. You know, it's kind of... Um, I'm kind of vague on the main story at this point, but maybe some of you that are gurus on the Battle Angel story know, but... Uh, isn't that like Nova 2? This uh, this version of Nova? Isn't it like a second version of him or something? With his MIB chip, you know, his brain and his memory chip, uh, you know, in a different body or something like that. I know there's like a Nova 2 in the story. Like a different version of Nova who has a slightly different personality. But anyway, that's a complicated story for... Another time. So here we are in Zalem. Door opens, girl goes in, and doesn't come out. Everybody goes in, nobody comes out. <laughs> so Gully can't believe she's standing here at Zalem. And she's like, this is really what Hugo had in mind for his, you know, dream was to be here. <laughs> this guy's kind of surprised. He's like, hey, who are you? You're not from Zodom. Gully's just like, yeah, I come from the surface. It's like, uh, from the surface, my god. Surprised he doesn't, like, call the cops and arrest us. So he's surprised why are we up here at Zalem. You know, there aren't supposed to be people here unless they're Zalem, you know, members. I also thought it was weird, they, you know, they changed the name in the English uh, Zalem to something else. Um, some really weird name that doesn't even make sense but uh yeah there's a lot of renaming in this manga and this story with all the characters and the place names and stuff i think i was reading like something about it for religious reasons like zalem i know i mean zalem is not in the bible so that's not a religious name as far as i'm aware of i know zion you know zion is in the bible but not zalem so yeah, I'm not sure what religion that's from or whatever, but... See, yeah, Gully. I tried to go in here with Gully, but apparently only the people uh, that are Zalem members can actually go in there. 
Yeah, Goli just can't believe it. Like, this is really what, you know, Hugo was hoping for. This was his dream. You know, this place, this solemn place, which isn't all that great, actually. But I think it's just because people on the surface are under the impression that Zalem is a paradise when uh, it is not really. Uh, we have Dekiman arguing with an MIB machine, which is just saying errors, errors. <laughs> we are apparently an error too. And that's apparently the MIB machines are the ones that do the surgery. Um, if you remember when they have their quote unquote initiation, these machines do the surgery and they're anatomically correct to be nurses. But they do the surgery where they remove the brain. Oh, this thing's attacking me. <laughs> I like to blow up machines. But yeah, those are the machines that are supposed to do the surgery during the so-called initiation where uh, the brain is removed from the members of Zalem when they become of age and uh, the computer chip is put in there. And once again, I think I mentioned it in previous episode, but that's to sort of create the ideal society where the chip uh, can control the person's uh, emotional state so there's not too much rage, you know, not too much lust, not too much anger, so that everybody can live peacefully, even though they're unaware that all their memories and everything is loaded onto a, a computer chip instead of an actual brain. Which begs the question, what do they do with all the brains? I'm expecting the zombies to come out at any moment. That's what they feed to the zombies, is the Zalem people's brains. Okay, so I found out some information about Rue, basically by talking to the people there. And uh, Rue is scheduled to be dropped out of the dust chamber here. If you remember, this is the big uh, pit or the chute or whatever that Zalem dumps trash, you know, down to the world below the trash pile, which is where Gully, you know, ended up, of course, and where Ido Sensei found her in the very first episode. But yeah, Ru, if you remember, was uh, helping uh, Gully as her operator, and she was actually a pretty nice girl. But uh, now she is scheduled because of her crimes of looking up secret documents um, to be dumped out of the chute down to Zalem, or not down to Zalem, but uh, down to the ground. We are in Zalem. You know what? These guys are bad shots. I was really worried because they shoot missiles. But uh, they're pretty bad shots. If you stand in just the right place, um, you know, they miss you. Is that everybody? Nobody else is going to mess with me? All right, we'll just keep going here. It's like I see all these doors and... You know, they look like the kind of doors you can open, but... I mean, yeah, none of these doors open. It just, it sort of looks like it. Exploration is a little... non-existent, I guess I should say. Everything's pretty much one way in this game. You can't really get lost. Come here. More anatomically correct MIB machines. See, they, they miss. Oh, never mind. He, he actually hit me there. Hmm. 
Most of their shots miss, I should say. Yeah, I never actually thought we would be in Zalem, to be honest. thought that Zalem was just always sort of off in the distance and you never actually visited it, but yeah, we're in Zalem. Surprise, surprise. Did Gali ever go to Zalem in the manga? If she did, I don't think I've read that part. There's a lot of the story I've never read. But it is cool to be uh, playing this game and kind of catch up. Catch up on the lore and the story and everything. Open the door! Open the door! Oh! I have to kill these guys. I was just going to run by them. one that was behind me was desperately trying to shoot me and just kept missing. Oh, there she is. There's Rue. Rue Collins. She is sentenced to pretty much certain death because, yeah, being dropped from such a height in a human body will probably kill you. So I do not recommend it. Miss Deny did. She's like, please don't abandon me. Come on, Rue, you are being unjustly executed. I made it in time this time. Gali san? Kind of like a you know, flashback to with uh, you know, Yugo. She didn't quite make it in you know, Gali didn't quite make it in time, of course, and he fell, but this time she made it in time to at least rescue Rue. And Rue is uh hiccuping here because of her panic. Gully's saying, don't worry, I'll protect you. You know, even though she's on this sort of wanted criminal list or whatever. It looks like you made it in time. And there's Nova, the creepy stalker, always there. <laughs> and there she goes again, Desti Nova! And then she's hiccuping. So uh, when Rue gets uh, kind of freaked out or panicked or she's upset, she uh, hiccups a lot. It looks like, Gully, you haven't uh, told her about the secret of the people of Zalem yet. Gully's like, what? Don't be, you know, messing with her with that. And then she asks what the secret is, and there he goes again. You see, I am Nova, and I just like popping my head off and showing you that there is no brain inside. So here we go again, Nova, explaining that the initiation is all a lie, and that everybody, their brain gets replaced by a biochip. Kali's like, Nova, what in the hell are you thinking? Revealing this, you know, information... But Nova's curious to see everybody's reactions and, you know, wants to see everybody freak out. Because most people, they go insane. They, they freak out when they realize, you know, that they have no brain in their head. They just have a computer chip. <laughs> Rue's like, oh, my hiccups have stopped. <laughs> you, you're not panicking or worried or anything? Nova's uh, impressed. Oh. 
you know, because of her personality, she's, I don't want to say airhead, a typical, you know, I could throw in some blonde jokes in here, but uh, Rude seems to be semi unfazed by this uh, revelation. And it actually cured her hiccups, the uh, shock of, of discovering it. So. so apparently the MIB machines are going crazy, uh, she's explaining here. And there's like a bunch of people scheduled for the initiation, kodomotachi, you know. And uh, of course, she thought it was okay. But now that she knows their brains are being removed, they need to do something about it. So, of course, Scully is like, I'll go rescue them. But Nova is stopping her here and saying, you know, you need to think about this for a moment, Gully. You're going to be changing, you know, everything, the way the world works here, the way Zalem works, the way the factory works. You know, everybody's lives are going to be affected by, you know, changing the way things go, like removing this initiation system, uh, letting people know that the initiation is removing their brain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So he's like, are you ready to deal with those consequences of changing the way things have been going? So kind of an interesting uh, conundrum there. But yeah, something weird is happening here in Zalem. Apparently the machines are like desperately having everybody go through the initiation like there's a virus or something going on hint hint something weird is going on so we're going to the hospital area where the quote-unquote initiation happens and gully is going to save a bunch of these young people that have uh been taken in for the initiation they use the kanji for kodomo but I doubt that these are like little children that are going through the initiation, I don't know. But it was the kanji for kodomo, which is child. But uh, yeah, it could also just mean, you know, like an innocent person, naive person. Missed me. Yeah, these guys are pretty bad shots. Somebody uh, needs to work on their rocket targeting system. So kind of impressed with this game, all the different uh, environments. We've definitely been in some, you know, interesting areas. They haven't really repeated a lot of the graphics and structures and stuff. You know, like a lot of games, you have a dungeon or something and you just repeat, you know, the look of it and whatever for different rooms. But they've actually done a lot of different stuff. Uh, with this game like a lot of the environments and dungeons all look different and they're all really fairly small so this is the way to the initiation room but we have to go around okay I, I just wanted to check that big door that's why I came back I think the granite end in the last few episodes uh, that's like the biggest quote-unquote dungeon area that I think I've been in in this game so far I'm hoping there'll be some cool areas in Mars when we get to Mars. Oh boy. More MIB machines. I actually was targeting there, but then I realized I'm out of plasma. So I can't do any uh, plasma attacks. We'll just have to do the normal attacks. I'll show off all my awesome moves while it's lying there on the ground. Yeah, I'm not sure about this new suit. It's like a like a tight, skin tight cat suit almost looking thing. <laughs> How did I trip a hovering robot? It's like I did a sweep there with my foot and uh, tripped the machine. Even though it's hovering, I shouldn't be able to do that. Oh, 
Okay, those guys aren't too much of a threat. Or those girls, I should say. So, we're trying to find the initiation room. I think I'm just going to run through these enemies here, if I can. Alrighty, I think we took like a roundabout way. So this looks like the front area to the initiation rooms, which should be renamed the Zombie Food Operation Rooms. Operation Get Zombie Food. By the way, uh, all these loading screens in the game, uh, if you've been noticing when the screen goes black, you got that little spinning thing at the bottom corner. I used to think that was a chip, like the chips you earn, like the money, but actually that's the MIB chip, the uh, brain chip that replaces, that little orange thing spinning. That is the brain chip that everybody's got replaced in their head. That room was empty. I guess the, uh, the light's off. Now the light's on here, so this room... Operation in progress, perhaps? But yeah, it's kind of creepy. Like, now I realize that loading screen was from the beginning of the game. And from the very beginning, they were showing that uh, MIB chip. It wasn't a spoiler alert then, but it sure is now. And conveniently, Nova and Rue just sort of show up after I've defeated all the enemies. So Nova is actually helping out here. They're running the computer system here to halt the initiation. Wow, Nova's a fast typer, isn't he? I don't think the MIB machines are going to be happy. Are you okay, everybody? Yeah, see, it's like Kodomo. They're, the kanji for them is Kodomo, but they don't look like children to me. It's like, who are you? Is it over? Are we finished with the initiation? Please relax, everybody. Please listen to me. And, of course, here we are, the explanation of the initiation which everybody's uh, unaware of. And of course, Rue is asking Nova to show... <laughs> I think Nova just enjoys doing that, popping his head off and showing everybody. So... Yeah, these three are kind of freaked out. It's like, his head, it's empty! There's no brain! Once again, the usual reactions. So these are the first people that we've saved from the system. And now we're going to go in and fight the computer system, apparently, that's running most of Zalem. You know, keeping everybody peaceful and under wraps. I mean, Zalem is mostly run by a computer, apparently an AI system or something. This is the core room, so it looks like we're going to have to fight the core computer here. Which, of course, has some crazy security system that we're going to have to fight. Super Dogma. Why do they have to call everything Dogma? It's like I'm playing Evangelion games again or something. I'm watching Evangelion. So Nova's explaining I, he created her Imaginos body. That's the new body that Gali has right now. The Imaginos body. And um, it's specifically designed to help fight this uh, computer system. 
All right, so here we got our controls. Uh, X is a special attack. The square button is a lock on and do a normal attack. R2 is jump. R1 is do a roll. And then uh, we've got the normal controls. Okay, so you can either you can either do a roll to dodge or you can do a jump. And the square button is your normal attack and the X button is a special attack. But it needs to charge. So this is kind of similar, I think, to the fight with Zapan. Where we'll just sort of be walking back and forth, I think. But we also have the lock-on uh, mechanic, similar to uh, the fight with Den. If you remember holding the square button and we get like a little targeting rectangle. We have to lock on and then release the square button to fire. And then just hit the X button for a special attack. All right, I think I'm good. Probably gonna die the first fight here. Let me just try to get used to it. You too, stand back. My health is kind of low. Maybe I should use the repair kit before I came in here. Oh, it replenishes my health anyway. Okay. So there is a limit to where I can run. Oh, great. MIB machines too? Ouch. Okay, so I can target. Okay, gotta get used to this, guys. All right, I'm back. Uh, took out some of the security stuff. Actually, the easiest way is just to use the powered up uh, attack because the, uh, the targeting is really annoying. So I'm basically just going to use the powered up attack. And once you destroy a part of the machine, the center starts attacking like you can see here. So uh, yeah, pretty much all you gotta do is dodge. Just dodge for a while, and then when the next charge is full, hit the X button. Just like that, that's all you have to do. Uh, you don't need to aim, you don't need to target, because the uh, special the special attack doesn't need targeting. It auto-targets, so all you need to do is hit the X button uh, when it's ready. You don't need the square button for anything. And I blew the computer away, and down comes what looks like an elevator. What is this door? This is the elevator entrance. Yep, just what I thought. Nova's thoughts were correct. He seems to be like the only person that knows what's going on. Everybody's like just, you know, goes along with society, almost like zombies, but he seems to be rebellious against everything. Yale. So this is the the elevator to the space station, space station village, Yeru. It's spelled Jeru there. Um, you know, I don't know if it's like, you know, the silent J sound. The katakana is Yeru. I think maybe I'll just call it Jeru because maybe that's easier. Jeru. But yeah, apparently there's a second area of Zalem uh, up above. If you remember, there's that pipe that big pillar in the very center of Zalem. And apparently this elevator goes up into a space section that's actually in space. So this should be interesting. There's another section of Zalem connected above where maybe the computer is. So we'll have to go up there, figure out what's wrong with the computers, why the computers are trying to you know, mess up with everybody, whatever they're doing. But yeah, I think I'll take a break here, guys. This has been an interesting episode. It's pretty cool visiting Zalem. And I think in the next episode, 
we'll go ahead and check out uh, Jeru. Let's take a look here right quick before we end the episode. So yeah, there's that big pipe in the center of Zalem, but uh, yeah, it actually goes up beyond the atmosphere to a section in space, section of the city above. Just more and more surprises, huh? Welcome to Jeru. We'll see you all in the next episode, guys, as we explore this new area.